Hope everybody's doing great. Been a long time since I had a chance to see you. Hope you guys enjoyed your, your short vacation. Uh, last week we finished up good um, on the field with the guys, and then obviously our staff had to get a chance to or had a chance to get around the country and, and uh, go recruiting, which was a great opportunity for us to get out and see see players, but uh, take our brand across the country too. So uh, finished up good. Now we turn our attention, obviously, to a really good football team here. Great opportunity at the end of the week. Um, you know, they continue to find ways to win. Um, they're a good football team. They're long. They're athletic on both sides of the line of scrimmage and obviously have really good skill players too. So uh, exciting week for us as uh, we continue to, to go down this journey. And, and uh, players were good this morning. Looking forward to the opportunity on Saturday. So open it up. When you look at the film of Florida and how you guys defended uh, Anthony Richardson, it, it looks like Jaden Daniels is similar skill set, mobile quarterback. But is it apples to apples? Can you take coaching points from the Florida game and apply them to this one? Yeah, for sure. There's there's areas that we got to grow that um, you know will show up again uh, in this game, and and um, you know for us defensively, eyes, keys, uh, as tight ends are exiting in the formation, that will be critical in, in this football game. Uh, the quarterback run absolutely is a, a huge part of the football game. Um, and that can be in some read game, but also just as the pocket breaks down or uh, he goes through his progression, his ability to escape. Uh, the way they finish runs is probably a little bit different just in their style, but absolutely the, the, you know, the mobility of the quarterback is a huge part of us having to defend that in this football game. Josh, as you know, LSU's had a couple of comebacks, 13 points, 17 points on mm -hmm. Saturday. W when a team is able to do that, wh what does that do for a team, knowing obviously the dynamic in each room is a little bit different? Well, just for us, you got to understand that uh, if you're on the, up on the scoreboard, it doesn't matter. We talk a lot about playing at 0-0 for 60 minutes. Uh, the way they play and compete, no matter what the scoreboard looks like, uh, you have to be prepared for their best for 60 minutes. Um, you know, they are a resilient team. Um, you know, they've done a really good job of creating turnovers, um, making special teams plays, uh, creating short fields and, and flipping, uh, flipping the way the game's played here. Uh, you can see that from week one all the way through this past week. Uh, LSU defensively, what, what challenges do they present, starting with the front four and B. Joe Gilari and then the back end with all those transfers? Yeah, uh, the front four, uh, they're big, physical, long, athletic. Um, they have the ability to apply pressure to the quarterback and, and break the pocket down. Uh, you want to stay out of long yardage situations against them. On um, the back end, uh, they have a bunch of new bodies to their roster with a, a bunch of transfers. Those guys have played a lot of football. I think they continue to get more in sync uh, and more comfortable in their scheme. And, and uh, for us, you know, we got to have balance in, in what we're doing. So, you know, run game on early downs will be critical. Um, playing from ahead of the chains is going to be critical in this game. Coach, just how, how big was last week for some of those young guys who have played a little bit, like Joshua or you know, Squirrel, and to, to reset and have a week of practice without getting ready for an opponent? Yeah, uh, really big for, for our young guys uh, to take some growth on, on the fundamentals technique uh, side of it, uh, being very purposeful in, in what we're doing and, and some of the things that they got during the course of practice. It's really important for your entire football team, too. Uh, during the course of game week, you get so much into the scheme of things. It's important to reset and get back to some of those fundamentals. Those are the inches and, and the things that uh, people don't see that, that add up to the big things. I guess we'll keep it on the LSU defense. How do you think your guys in the wideouts will compete against their secondary? Yeah, you'll see a press man at times, but you see a bunch of coverage variation from them too. So Hennon's got to do a great job of identifying the rotations. Our receivers got to do the same thing. When it is man to man, uh, you got to find a way to go win. And, and uh, you know, you guys have seen us, you know, since we've gotten here that uh, we're going to try to put those guys in a position to win, but we also trust those guys to go win in those situations. Coach, with how emotional Florida week was before the game and even after the game, after you all won, how important do you think the bye week was to mentally reset as well as physically reset? Yeah, I, I think one of the positives about our team is they've been really consistent in, the, in their approach. Um, huge win for our, our fan base. Uh, I think our players reset last week and, and pushed forward um, in the things that we were asking them to do. And obviously, you know, this morning, full speed ahead on, on LSU, uh, really good energy. Bye week gives you a chance to physically reset and mentally reset a little bit. They had a couple of days off. A bunch of them had an opportunity to go home, watch their high school football teams, be with their families. Uh, they came back uh, late last night and, um, 
I don't know, business as usual a little bit this morning. And, and uh, you know, we got to continue to grow. But uh, I think our players are excited. Uh, the report about Cedric Tillman, did he have surgery and what's the update on him? Yeah, Cedric uh, did have uh, surgery, uh, the timeline. He did that, just had an opportunity to speed up the recovery process side of it. Um, we'll see where he's at. Um, he was limited, but moving around a little bit today. We'll continue to see how it unfolds this week and, and uh, see where we're at. Coach, how would you assess how, how Jabari has been, uh, Jabari Small, through the first four games? And what did you like about his performance against Florida? Been good. Uh, been good without the ball in his hands, pass protection. Been good as a receiver when we've asked him to. Um, I thought, you know, last week was probably his most physical running. Um, you know, putting his pads down, continuing to move the pile, getting plus two after contact. Uh, we have great trust in him. Expect him to have a huge part of this game. What specifically would Cedric need to do or show that he can do to be available Saturday? Yeah, you got to be able to be a functional player and play at the level that we expect him to, that he wants to play at, too. So. You know, as, as the SEC slate does open up for you all with this bye week, what has been that main focus with this team as you look to kind of build off what you all have been able to do in September? Yeah, you're only as good as your next one in, in this game. And, and uh, you can continue to look at college scores, your preparation, um, you know, your competitive spirit all week, but then also on game day. There's no way in this game you can just flip a switch on Saturday and show up and play the way that you want to. So uh, preparation's everything. Uh, our players have gotten so much better in that. Expect them to handle the week the right way. This is a really good football team. Be a great environment. It's always tough to win on the road inside of this league. And, and uh, this is our next opportunity. Josh, with it being 11 a.m. local kickoff time, do, do you enjoy that? Are you, are you glad that you'll kind of be able to get to business in, instead of sitting around all day? Yeah, if you ask coaches everywhere, they say, give me the earliest kickoff possible. Um, you know, for, for us, um, it's going to be a great environment. I'm sure it'll be a packed house. And, and uh, you know, this is a tough place to play. Um, but, uh, you know, it's so much about us and our preparation. Make sure that we handle things the right way. we got to take care of the football. You can't have penalties. Um, you can't do things that hurt yourself in this football game. It's a really good team that we're playing. I think LSU's freshman tight end leads them in targets. Um, what's he do well as a player uh, that while they try to get him the ball so much? Yep. And then D. Williams, uh, he's been out. I don't know what his status is for this week. <coughs> um, but, you know, do you feel comfortable when a player's been out like that and he's really relatively new to the program, kind of just pushing him in there if, if you know, unless they're ready? Yeah, I feel comfortable as long as he's – prepared and practiced in a way that you feel comfortable with them. D uh, has been ramping it up here the last couple of weeks. I expect him to be able to play in this one. I expect him to play really well uh, when given the opportunity. Their tight end's athletic. I think he does a really good job of finding space and being in sync with the quarterback. Um, you know, targets in, in the middle of the football field, him exiting the, the formation and some of their run pass stuff too is a huge part of what they do. We got to have our eyes on the right spot so that we can cover him up. Josh, how much have you crossed paths with Brian Kelly, and what do you think about him? I have not. Um, this will be the uh, first time I've played against him. He's done a really good job everywhere he's been, man. His teams are well coached. They compete hard. You know I mean, he uh, he's, does a really good job. All right. Thanks, everybody. Just kidding. <laughs> What's the update on Warren Burrell? Yeah, uh, Warren uh, uh, had surgery and, and uh, will be out here uh, the rest of the season. Anything else? Okay. Thank you, guys.